Hello everyone, this is Bart and Stacy from The Sound Couple and we are headed to a very unique gig today. Uh, yeah, it's unique. I, it's a gig that we haven't done. This was put on hold, I think, for like two or three years because of COVID. It's actually one of our most favorite gigs because it's early and it's close to home. and Easy loading. Easy loading. It's just a fun gig. But more importantly than all that, <laughs> Guys, we are breaking out a lot of new gear today. I don't know what happened to the sound couple. I don't know if it was all the feedback we were getting and, and suggestions, but stay tuned because we did a little bit of investing over the last couple months. This is gear that it's going to get used a lot. We're excited about it. And today's gig affords us the ability to test or dry run. That's something that we really like to do, especially when we're getting gear that is we're not familiar with and it's it takes a little bit of learning. We, we try to do as much as we can at home, but nothing beats getting to the gig. And today is a gig that we have all the time we need. Set up and everything will just allow us some comfort in using some of this the first time. So stick around guys, because we got a lot to show you coming up. There's where we're gonna be. You wanna back the trailer up to yeah. the door? Yeah, oh, for sure. Oh, for sure? Oh, for sure. Get to see Bart backing up a trailer. I do know how to back up a trailer. Hey Stace, we got gear reveal number one. This was kind of a big one though. This is the biggest one right here. We got lifts for the CDL cabinets. We got the Fantech 5323 front loading tower lifts. These will go up to 16 feet. In addition to that, we're not gonna bring it out today. We picked up a couple more CDL 12s. So we'll be able to do a full three on each side for some of the bigger shows and get the speakers out. And as you can tell, this is a pretty big showroom in here. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna break these out today and try them out. But gear reveal number one, we got speaker lift stays. There was a little bit of coaxing on this one. <laughs> Stacy wasn't so sure, but we made it happen. <laughs> Deal number two, what do we have here? We have a Pecron charging. No, it's not a charging, it's a power supply. Power supply. supply. With six 15 amp circuits. And this will allow us in the situations that we need to, is to give us either portable power for a remote location, or in today, we're gonna use it to supplement right. today. And this will power our front of house cabinet. So this is a Pecron. I believe it's the E3000 that we picked up here not recently. So this is will be our first gig using it. And I think we'll have a couple gigs coming up where we're gonna wanna use it. And again, this will be for supplemental power, for ease and just assurance. Yes. We're gonna start setting these up and there's a little bit of a process here. They're pretty straightforward. We thought about this a lot or I thought about it. I was a proposal to Stacy. These aren't for everybody and these aren't certainly for every gig. But we, as we went back and looked through our gig history, we found there would have been enough need to kind of justify it. But these are heavy and the Fantech 5323s are actually one of the more portable ones we could find. Some of these can get up into two, three, over 300 pounds. 
This one, is, I believe they clock in at about 178 pounds. This was a big decision. This was a big decision for sure. I'm glad we got this opportunity to, to, today to try them out. Let's, uh, we'll show you how this goes. So it's got the legs here with the adjustable trim on it and the, the wheels of the the wheels right there are not supposed to take any load and we just got to get it level which it's it's pretty level and now we're going to get the front loading brackets on there Okay, in the box we have the fly rigging, and this was how many trips to Menards? And <laughs> have you ever like five total between trying to figure? It was really hard to find the right hardware for this one. I was surprised how difficult it was and how much there was lack of information. There's the fly plate and this the rigging bars and the speakers. We'll work on getting this hooked up. It actually goes pretty fast.
Well, this isn't really a reveal. You've seen this before, but we are breaking out the 64S today because we got the room and the space. I'll show you what we we built. How many years ago, did you see? Probably about four years ago. Yeah. So we built this platform here that sits on top of the existing rack. It sits right on the edge there. It works awesome. It's like an extension, obviously. And then Stacy made a drop cloth for it. And just kind of dresses it up a little bit. Look at that. How fancy is that? <laughs> this is like... <laughs> Almost professional grade, huh? So we got the console here and that'll interface just perfect. I got the scene all set up and ready to go. So let's do it. Okay. I'd like you to run this if possible. I'll work on Getting this set up. We got a Pecron down there, we'll use that for power. This isn't a sound couple review, this is a band couple review. To reveal, <laughs> I said review, didn't I? We put it together, but the band added some more PSM 300 transmitters, and we added this to a second rack. So what I did is come back here, come back here, follow me, and we did a couple things once we get the mess out of the way. Okay, first of all, made this PowerCon connector. So they just have to plug it in, rack's powered. Second thing we did is we already, so what they did is they wanted more people, the horn section and another singer to be wireless. So we already were had this snake for them. And what we did is we just, I'm, put in a front panel here and they're labeled and they can just go like that and done so that rack is hooked up and I guess this is our rack up here that's a little yeah that'll work but this the, re the ones here are oh. for their remaining wired that's packs. right Got the front of house hooked up, and what I did is I just made cables long enough to, to reach. And I did have to extend, extend this one with the Neutrik connector here. That I don't worry about this at all. That just tucks behind there. Got the power cord running in there. So that is all I have to do to hook up the board, and then I'll need the USB and the computer. We got the Pecron here. And I'll plug into that. I'll show you that in just a minute. And we have another reveal. Can anybody guess what that would be? Any guesses? In that bag right there? Hmm, I think it'll be pretty obvious once, once I show you. Okay, another reveal. Well, here's the 64S. Really nice looking board. But the big reveal is sound couple invested in a new Mac. Finally broke down and decided it was time after 12 years with the old Mac. We retired it and picked up the brand new Apple with the M2 chip, 16. It's, uh, you know, we're, I guess we're to come into the dongles and all that, but it's not too bad. We just have the ethernet and the USB there, but it's a great, so far I'm really liking it. It's fast and all that good stuff you would expect from a new computer. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the pec run here. We looked at a lot of different units, decided to go with this one. They've lots of good reviews on it. This is a really, really changing market. There's a lot of competition out there for these but this is the big guy right here. We expect that this will have no problem powering everything for the rest of the night. We're at 100% and we'll check in and see how we're doing at the end of the night. There's Pecron, there's Blue Eddy, there's uh, uh, 
J Jack. Ah, um, I'll put it on here. Jack. <laughs> I can't remember. It starts. It's like a Jack. Uh, and there's some other ones too, but we decided this one would be the best fit, not only for our gigging, but we have some personal reasons why we got this as well. Okay, we got 120 volts to be expected. Let's take a look at this here. Since we got 32 hours of power, I think we'll be just fine. And this is gonna be really nice for outdoor shows, for shows that we need supplemental power. Yeah, with a little bit of an investment. And I think it was, it's gonna pay off big time for us in convenience. We are doing a check-in here. We got about 408. The band will be here, probably with start showing up in the next half hour or so. We got our 64S hooked up. Let's check in with the Pecoron. This is our first gig with this. Still got, it says 26.8 hours now, 27 hours. So we're holding in just fine there. I get our internet up, up and going. I had to do some tweaking on here to get that working. And this is the way the system looks, guys. Wow. What a adventure this has been. And I want to thank you guys for kind of helping us through this decision. Even though we didn't talk about it, I was sending some email to other viewers and personas, and it was kind of a mad scramble to get these lifts before they really went up in price. Unfortunately, they almost were out of our budget for this year at least, but everything just keeps going up and up and up. And I was able to still get these. I found a place called Hollywood DJ that were, was able to honor their pricing and before they went up on them as well. But I think they look good. Again, we picked up one more CDL cabinet per side so we can do up to three now. Uh, two for this is plenty and we're just kind of getting our feet wet with them today, but I think they look good. I don't know, Stacy. we got some practicing to do. Uh, you know, the leveling, I would say on these, the thing that I'm not thrilled about is the cranks because everything really relies on that and I just I don't know what I would do differently but it just feels like if something was gonna stop working as far as getting stripped out or whatever it would be these I guess it'd be the legs are replaceable and all that so hopefully we never have to get to that point but here we go this is huge for the sound couple this was a big big investment for us and you know, honestly stace what do we plan maybe six to eight gigs that we'll end up using them yeah. but it allows us what's oh we got another reveal oh who could forget the big big reveal <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is our new mic case hey mason we just picked this up so what is it a harmony yeah. Okay. And there we go. Look at that rig. <laughs> that was our big upgrade. Heck yeah, man. Whoa. That looks great. Wow. Wow. Cool, man. We actually got this off of Amazon. And I think this is, gosh, it was hard to find a, a case that would fit our needs. And I thought this one would be plenty big. But we got it filled up guys oh hey how about it what kicked this all off stace real quick oh yeah actually i have one right here <laughs> another reveal we got mike condoms they come in these little packs you want to take one out and just yeah you know, it's almost like the what what are the like the scrubs yeah type stuff yeah yep. we'll try them and see what we think gear review what do we got now we have the chave four bar quad and yeah. it is an upgrade in lumens is yeah. the primary reason why we... Upgrade in lumens and upgrade in plastic. Unfortunately, <laughs> our four bar tries were made out of like aluminum, steel. These are plastic. And a downgrade in outlets. There's no power outlet on the back of them either, but they are brighter. Mm -hmm. Five to 600 lumen uh, brighter. I haven't had a from chance to... Pro our other yeah, the four bar try. 
And tonight, we actually don't really need the lights because the showroom lights will be on. So these will just add a little bit of color. And from previous years, it it's proved to be worth the time. But this is just a dry run, trying them out. We haven't even had a chance to program them yet. Really, just some basic stuff just to get them up and going. We even may use the remote if it works. Because Stacy, you might be sitting yes. right over here. So we might get lucky and the remote works. chargers aren't working well for these for this so I'm gonna have to figure out something. Just ended the second set and we're having some wireless issues and actually Stacy Weird is talking to Mason about it and I it doesn't surprise me. Uh, it's a journey as you guys have seen in a lot of our videos. It's uh, the wireless stuff and we just added four more PSM 300s here. And one thing we've done now is I don't think we're gonna be able to put the horn wireless mics or yeah, the horn receivers next over there. We got our wireless mics over there. Just a lot of a lot of things going on over there. So come on over here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six PSM 300s, which they say you're supposed to have up to 13, or you can have up to 13 units in this uh, frequency range. But we have our mics, and then we got the horn mics up here. So they're, they're scanning channels, they're getting through it, but I think it's hopefully, you know, a couple, few more gigs and get this worked out. And that's not continuous. But look at the, did you see the people or the boats? <laughs> yep, and this, this one right here? 91,000 yeah. dollars. Yeah, have fun with that one. But <laughs> we'd rather have that stuff up there. And actually, did you comment on the lights? No, well, 
I, I, they actually, I mean, since we've done this place before, and even just front lights in general, they do, they're, they're much brighter. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it is a noticeable difference. Plastic and brighter, but <laughs> that's okay. We are clear, we're heading out. Thank you. You got it, man. You got it? Yeah. 
Here is our recap for the night. How did our lift stands go? Bart. Bart. <laughs> the lift stands are gonna take some practice. They they work well. I I'm a little bit concerned about the needing of the need for really level ground to really make them work. There's one where we were having a little bit of hard time cranking the legs. I'm gonna look into that one a little bit. But most importantly, the thing I'm concerned about, Stacy, is the tripping hazard that that these may pose. We gotta figure that out. We've been talking through some ideas, either getting some fencing or a scrim. Depending on the type of gig, we got a corporate gig I think we're gonna be using these on. So we're just trying to figure out that balance between we don't want to make it look too industrial, or whatever. We'll figure that out, but definitely concerned about the, the tripping hazard. But the, as far as the cranks and everything go, I think we're learning, but once they were up, they looked great. They did look great. Yep. Number two, the Pecron. Pecron is a winner. I, that is a slam dunk. That's, that's gonna, I think that's gonna be something we're gonna be ending up using it a lot of just in, in this and I, as I mentioned, in our personal life. So, yep, Pecron, Sweet. definite thumbs up. Yes. The lifts are a thumbs up too. It's just, they kind of make me nervous. To. Yeah, yes. they they're just make me a little nervous. Okay. Number three, the lights. The lights, I will give them a thumbs up. I just, I get annoyed when manufacturers I'll take obvious cost cutting measures and those lights didn't get any cheaper as far as the price goes but the build quality from the previous generation definitely took a hit so I will give them thumbs up that I think they're gonna look better but not happy that Chave cheapened them out all right what's next number four your laptop the laptop <laughs> it's a brand new Mac how can you complain except for now I gotta <laughs> use all the different damn connectors to, yeah. you know, just put a stupid USB port on it. I mean, 99% of the world is still USB or, or the equipment out there, and we gotta put adapters. All right, but it's a Mac, no complaints. Go ahead. I'm thinking the mic case. Oh, the mic. The, the mic, mic case. case. Eh, I don't know. It's too much fidgeting around, and I don't. I think that's going to become my next nemesis. I, I don't know, Stacy. It's a nice case, but the ones that do all those latching and hooks and don't yeah. stay on, they're just frankly a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, okay, next. As I am sometimes, right? As you are. Yep. <laughs> and I think the lesson learned, just shut up, Stacy, and listen to Bart. <laughs> what about what? Oh, about some things, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't get into trouble at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah, uh, we won't get into that. The the band, I think, they, they played well. The, the event was, it seemed like a little bit less attended than in the yeah. past. We're working through stuff. We'll be with them again next weekend. And this is just a journey for us. Uh, they're wireless and they're in-ear and, and the things we're doing. But the next gig we're doing with them, it's a gig where this is like, we've done a video on it before, we'll do it again. And this is a very simple, it'll be a simpler gig, so we'll be kind of back to the basics of that. I'm trying to think, was there anything else new tonight, Stacy? Well, we had some new CDLs. They look like the other CDLs, but we had two new CDL speakers out, just giving those a drive through, so run through. So it's always good. We always like to give new gear a dry run. We did it tonight, and we got loaded out. Those stands take a little bit more time, expectingly so. And that's about all I got to say, Stacy. I know what I learned. What'd you learn? If you have to get the gate unlocked to get in, make sure before you leave, you asked if the gate is unlocked yeah, because- we, we got locked in and we're lucky. <laughs> yeah, lucky that 
the door was still open and they were still in there because otherwise it might have been a really long night. You'd have been screwed. I don't know what kind we would have done. Yeah. Thanks again for everything and watching and we hope you enjoyed the new gear reveal. We are done uh, <laughs> with, for a while, but we haven't spent the money like we have like this for quite a while. Oh, the 64S. Always nice to work on a larger format console. In a perfect world, hey man, that, that's, that's great. You know, we had the space and I knew that always great working on on a console and that's certainly a nice one to work on all right guys we'll see you at the next gig have a good week and a good weekend hope your gigs are going well selling couple signing off